Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations at your soybeans to recommend, and I rarely do this, uh, a field strength meter for your ham shack. And the purpose of such a meter is to find out whether you have RF in the shack problems, if you do, how severe they are, and where they're coming from. It only costs about $50, and you can get it from MFJ Enterprises. You can also get uh, these meters from other sources, by the way. MFJ is not the only vendor of them, but they call it the 802B, is in Bravo, as of this video. It uses a dipole antenna rather than the conventional monopole whip antenna so that it does not depend upon your body to supply a pseudo ground for its operation. It actually, it's much more electronically sound in design. You can find out how much your feed line is radiating. You can find out wh whether, um, how much your computers are radiating perhaps. How much those weird, newfangled, compact fluorescent or light emitting diode light bulbs actually radiate. You can find out if there's a, some bizarre RFI causing a problem somewhere in your neighborhood. Well, how much you can do about it is another story. But I would call it an RF sniffer because it's not, it really won't tell you very much about what the frequency of the signal is, what kind of modulation it might have, what sort of device might, might be producing it, unless you come up right next to it and it's pretty obvious. But as we uh, live in a more and more RF-saturated environment, challenging not only to our ham radio operations, but in some cases to the operation of conventional appliances as well, such as garage door openers, remote control devices for uh, things like television sets, uh, model aircraft even if you're into that, and drones if you're into those. Um, be careful though, uh, there's some laws now in some uh, municipalities apparently that irate people can shoot down drones over their property. I mean, the war has begun. But the war on RFI will never end. Uh, and we radio hams uh, would do well to stay one step, at least only one step behind, if not one step ahead of it. And a field strength meter can be an indispensable addition to almost any a serious radio amateurs shack. And I just happened to see one on MFJ, which manufactures every type of radio ham gizmo you could ever want to. Um, I mean, you just go to their site, mfj.com, Mike, Foxtrot, Juliet.com. Uh, a free advertisement for MFJ. I got some stuff from them. Um, pretty good bargain, if you ask me. But I haven't uh, been buying much lately because I am faced, as are 99% of the other people in the United States of abundance, with impending poverty. But at least I can afford to make videos yet, and they're free! Stan Gibalisco signing off, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which, in my CW fist, shall forever after translate to da-da-da-da-da-da.